Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to stream radio within your application. Now, on the iOS simulator here, I have an example of what we will be creating today. We have a simple round rack button and this white rectangle here is a web view. Now what we're going to do is load the uh, radio, like the live stream of a radio link within our web view which would open up as if we were playing a video or a sound kind of file and it's going to play through the web view and stream straight from your app so if you just press the button to give you an idea of what we're going to be creating so once we hit it loads up our um, radio stream and once it starts loading you can see that it's streaming the radio and the stream I'm using today is the BBC Radio 1 here in the UK so already my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Stream Radio for the purpose of this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our view controller .h. Now streaming the radio, unlike when we're playing video files or playing sound files, it requires no frameworks at all as we're gathering it from a web view. So all we need to simply do is add the outlet for our web view and the action button for our round rack button. So, clearly see here now, just at the UI view controller, we do space and a little curly bracket and press enter. We're going to create our outlet for our web view. So, we type in IB outlet space UI web view space asterisk and I simply name the web view nice and easy web view. Now, end that, end that with a semicolon. And then just after the last curly bracket here, we're going to add in our action button. So we do bracket IB action. And in this, um, the selector here, we'll just give our action button a simple name of play. Keeps it nice and simple and easy to understand. And again, at the end, we put a semicolon. So that's the two things we need to create, the outlet for our web view and the action for our button. So other than that, we can save it and jump into our view controller dot m where we'll start adding the code for our button to enable us to stream the radio in our web view so we'll just type out our button which was IB action we named it play make sure we got the um, capital on the play there space bracket and once in the bracket we press enter and we can start by typing out our code in there for it to stream so we need to create an NS string for us to be able to load the URL of the radio stream in our web view. So we start by doing NS string space asterisk, and I'll simply name it stream space equals space. We do add symbol, two quotation marks, and then that with a semicolon. Now within the two quotation marks here will be the link of the live stream of the radio. Now, as because I'm using the uh, BBC Radio 1's um, live stream link, it simply just type that out. You also have to make sure that when you're typing, you have to make sure it's a .pls, as that's the only version of live streaming radio it will work. So I'll just simply write out the link now just to show you. So do HTTP colon forward slash two forward slashes and simply type that. So it's www.bbc.co.uk forward slash radio forward slash listen forward slash live forward slash r1 for radio1 dot pls so I'm just to double check I've written it out correctly and I have so once you've done that go to our next line now so so as I said before when you're finding your own live stream radio link or any other one make sure it's a dot pls and that will do 100% guarantee it will work every time when you're live streaming. As the other ones, they unable to load through the web view into your app to play. So it gets a little bit complicated. But anyway, so we do next line nsurl space asterisk. I simply name it url space equals space bracket nsurl again space uh, url with string. And in the highlight section, we type in stream and then a bracket semicolon. 
And then we do nsurl request space asterisk url, simply name it url request, keep that nice and simple, space equals space bracket, nsurl request again, spaced request with url, and the url we're going to request is our nsurl, which is linked to our stream in the ns string, so the url links it all together nicely, and then at the end do bracket, semicolon, space, now we want it to uh, load in our web view, so we do bracket web view, space load request, so the request we're going to load in our web view is our URL request, which is linked to our URL, which is linked to our stream, and the stream's linked to the and, um, string in our label. So we just type in our load request here, URL request, and have a bracket and a semicolon, and then we can turn straight into our view controller that um, view controller dot xib sorry where we'll add in our button and our UI web view so we'll just chuck in a button there I'll simply write play make it nice and pretty maybe drag it out a bit and then look for our web view there we go so just place that in there and then we click on files owner and go to our connections tab and link up our web view outlet to our web view and our play action to our play button and we do something simple like touch up on the inside and then once we've done that we can save it go straight to build and run and just see how it works and show you on the iOS simulator so once it's loaded we press our play button and then that will load up our URL we've run our web view and then play the stream so there you have it then, it's streaming live radio from within the application now if you look on the NS log down here, we give a little thingy at the times it told us that we started streaming the radio and then the times when we stopped streaming the radio so that's a nice little handy tip that you can use so that's simply how you stream um, live radio from within your application so I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you like and favorite the video. Make sure you subscribe also. And also check out our current apps, which are all on the App Store by searching Geeky Lemon. Most importantly, if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.